Hi, Anthony Topping from Frame It All. Today I'm going to show all you city folks how you could have a great vegetable garden on your roof, terrace, patio, or deck if you're out in the country. We have these new stakes here that lie nice and flat on any hard surface. And then we have our stacking stakes that just slot into each other and can go up any level. So we're going to build a nice garden here into the corner of our roof. And I'm going to show you how to have a nice soil mixture on your roof that's really nice and light, but has a lot of great nutrients so you can grow the best vegetables in the city. All you need is a screwdriver or a drill with a Phillips bit to attach your brackets onto your boards. And depending on what shape you want to build, what I did is I use a saw and I cut these down. Just a regular hand saw, cut them, takes about 30 seconds to board. So let's go to it. So remember, this, the stake doesn't have a spike into it, and it comes to you like that. So you just slide it through the brackets like that. Make sure it's all square, and it's going to square off itself as well when we're doing our second and third level. And now we use our stacking stakes to go up any level that we want to go. Now that I have my first two levels on, I want to do a step garden with the third level, which I'm going to do in this section right over here. We're going to now put our liner in the, in the bottom of it to uh, have as a drainage and keep the soil from washing under your deck, patio, or roof. Depending on the size of the garden you're going to make, you may need to cut your fabric down. So we're making only a two foot wide uh, garden. This fabric is five feet long, so we're going to just cut this right down the middle, make two pieces out of it. It's nice about this fabric, it's breathable it lets the moisture through. Remember on your deck and patio, you're getting rain on it. It's getting moisture onto it. So you can have this, have contact with your roof and deck with no problems. Okay, I'm gonna line it in. Then I'm gonna staple it to its sides once it's all lined in. Just have it come up the edges. Throw a few staples in. I'm going to overlap this next piece of fabric over it. It's not going to shift once the soil is in place, so you don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to show you how to make a really good light soil mix for rooftop, patios, and deck gardens. You want to use three different materials. You want to use a nice light compost soil, peat moss, and vermiculite, which is a natural mineral, very light, and helps with absorbing water and aeration. So I'm going to put about equal amount of each of these uh, soil amendments within here, mix it up, and then we're ready for planting.
I'm going to just use a fork and really mix it up nicely together. You can just see how nice and light and rich the soil is. And this is great, not just for vegetables, for flowers. If you don't have a lot of sun on your roof, there are vegetables that will, will do well. Lettuces will do well in, in a partial sh shade situation. A lot of great flowers that you could also plant in here and have a great floral arrangement. Once your soil is well blended, it should look like this. Frame it all.